everyone. For those who are in New Zealand in other countries where uh, there is still a great freedom to go to mass, to go to adoration, not to have any curfew in the evening like in France, it's great. We can leave Christmas this year as we have always done. However, maybe we need, uh, and especially in the light of Fratelli Tutti and Laudato Si, written by Pope Francis, to acquire this year a particular sense of solidarity and think of all the people who are in not only in poverty, not only who lost their job, but who are also distressed in so many other ways. So, if we cannot leave Christmas as usual with big family gatherings and so on, isn't it a great opportunity this year to go back to the essence of the mystery of Christmas, the way Mary and Joseph discovered it in the poverty of those nine months of pregnancy of Mary at the crib of Bethlehem because there was no place for them in the inn. They were too poor. They couldn't afford to give birth to Jesus in a nice hotel. No. So maybe this year, COVID-19 provide, unfortunately, but let's see the good side, an opportunity to spend more time at home preparing Christmas as a family with the Word of God. We should do that every day, actually. And in adoration and contemplation, making a nice prayer corner at home with the candles and leaving something of what Mary and Joseph have lived in the poverty of Bethlehem. So, happy fourth Sunday of Advent with the mystery of the Annunciation revealed after hearing twice about John the Baptist and having heard on the first Sunday of Advent the watch, you do not know the time nor the hour when the Son of Man will come. Well, please, let's boost our faith, our hope and our love for God and for one another. Happy Advent and Christmas to all!